You know what's crazy is this thing is still worth over two divines. I only paid like three to four divines to get it. <laughs> I lose so little value on it. The pricing points are crazy favorable. But they're, the market of actual buyers for level five is probably very small. It'll probably take a long time to sell. So that's kind of an issue. It just means I'll have to diversify and do some of the awakening light support and awakening power support and all that. Oh, this this one's not open either. Oh, if there are explosives, I can get in. Yeah, that sounds like a kind of a headache. Sure, I want to mess with all that. Oh my God, this is like the worst layout ever. This this some troll made this. Actually, I should have gone the other way first, because now I have to... Oh, man. Some troll made this temple. Look at this layout. Look at this. I got absolutely trolled by this person. 100% trolled. <laughs> Alright, oh, that's fine. I'm in a good mood. Okay, here we go. Next enhance support. Whoa. Oh my god. How much is this worth? Hmm. Oh, 40 divines. No, it can't really be worth 40 divines. <laughs> what? 40 divines? Get out of here. That's so much. That's such a good deal. There's no way that's worth 40 divines. Let me see what the offline prices are. There's one. There's only one. Uh, okay. So, offline from nine days ago, the cheapest one, 20 divines. That's not even the real price. Uh, anything that was put up in the last few days is 30 divines. That's crazy. That's so crazy. I buy th I buy this gem for four divine. If it fails, it still I still get two divines back, and as a one in four chance of being worth four thirty divines after. Are you kidding me? Who who wouldn't do that? Like, well, obviously not everyone can do that. But uh, all you have to do to do this is actually be floating some currency. No, it's it's not one to six. It's one to four for double corruption. Changes. I know this because I double corrupted like a hundred of them last league. It's a one in six to Val orbit up, but it's a one in four to double corrupt chamber it up. Because you don't you don't care about the quality on on these. So, th in fact, this is a good example of this. This gem, if th if this was like a level, if this was a level. If this leveled up a greater multiple projectile support while also lowering the quality down to 13%, that would be kind of shitty. Because then you're like, oh, great. You know, I got the higher event, then I got the lower, and then it's, it loses a lot of value. Uh, but this does not lose a lot of value. Not for this. I'll take that. Thank you very much. The Valor of 1 to 8? Really? I thought it was one to six. Okay, I haven't I haven't Z5 tested Valorb enough to know. I mean, I I did ten separate one hundred Crimson Temple map sessions where in each each one I've I've uh, double corrupted at least somewhere between twelve and eighteen. Awakened exceptional gems and on average one out of four went up and one out of four went down and two out of four stayed the same That was the average result So we're that was probably something like so that was over that was over a hundred Gems for me. so I it's got to be that yeah most people confirmed it's it's about a 25% chance That works here uh, Here we go. Oh another nothing happened. Okay. My mana is gone. That could be why people aren't doing it, because they think it's only 1 in 6, it's actually 1 in 4, and if you do the math on a 1 in 4 chance, you see the, the amount of currency you make doing this is stupid. Stupid amount of currency. <laughs> anyway, continuing. Now I got these Hello. transcendent gems out of the way. Oh, I have great data on double corrupting megaplots. <laughs> It, the 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 chance is two for two. So if you put two of them in, you'll you'll successfully double corrupt two of them. That that's the data I have on those.
Yeah, you soak bad RNG. Right, you, th that's the hardest part of doing what I'm doing here is you need to be floating currency. I am taking a little bit of a risk doing this here because I'm not floating a lot of currency. But as long as I don't get unlucky, I will have, have significantly, again, significantly jump-started uh, my currency earnings for this league. Here we go. Maybe another one? Oh, yeah. There, I did it again. So I lied. It's not one in four. It's actually two out of three. It's two out of three. Not one in four. so easy what else are you going to upgrade my quiver I'm gonna get an intermediate upgrade maybe and then at some point there is a very very nice uh, uh, synth quiver out there it's even better than the one last league I feel like and the last one the last league had a double crit but I kind of like you saw that one right there's a quiver with a percent six percent life as well as uh, Plus one arrow. That looks super nice, especially for like glass cannon here. Oh, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> what? What is this? What's going on? You can't keep doing it. <laughs> That's the first time. This I think it's like the first time I've killed this boss. Two divines. I gotta check that. This is just added currency you make. What is this called? Will of Chaos. Hold on. Oh my god. I screwed up my thing. Will of Chaos. Oh, two divine. Bare minimum, yeah. Wow. You can't keep getting away with that. That's gonna be my catchphrase. My catchphrase for this. <laughs> can't keep getting away with it. Uh, yeah. I haven't even destroyed anything in the double corruption chamber. My Ultra Pog. I'm, uh, like, liter literally everything else that I do could be destroyed or have absolute worst outcome. And I'm still going to walk away from this making tons of currency. <laughs> from this point on, after just three Chronicles. I, I could I could just get literally worst case scenario out of the remaining nine chronicles, and I'm still gonna come out way ahead. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Crazy good. No, oh, I got another. Uh, thing. <laughs> this is how I. This is how I get past 60 viewers. This is what I gotta do to go past 60 concurrent viewers. <laughs> gotta be doing this crazy shit right here. Alright, uh, who wants to see three level up awakened exceptional gems in a row? Anybody else want to see three in a row? I know I want to see three in a row. We're about to see three in a row. One right here. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I now have 90, 90 divines. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. You guys didn't know this, but actually, earlier, right before I did this gambling session, I didn't actually go to take a leak. Instead, I went to the altar of Chris Wilson and made a made a sacrifice. That's actually what I did. I didn't tell you guys that, but that's what happened behind the scenes. Uh, Aegis Aurora. No, it's not an Aegis Aurora. That's a Prism Guardian. It's gone. I guess I feel like I have to do this boss now every time. I'm glad it dropped off the first one because it would have been it felt bad if I like, dropped if I did like eight of these and it didn't drop until the last one because I felt like, I would have felt like I was wasting my time the whole time. <laughs> How much? Be I should do that. I could start doing that. These streamers do that a lot. The double corrupt for their audience. I think I would be a prime prime candidate for that, huh? Oh, sucks.
Yeah, I suppose I need to uh, <laughs> highlight that. Uh, third level five gem in a row. My mana is gone. I would pay you a divine for getting one of those. <laughs> yeah. Divine fee. Oh no, I can't do the temple room. Oh well. Be a nice short one. Four! Four in a row! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I... People, people are gonna think... The people are gonna think that I, I'm price fixing these because I'm gonna put four of them up at once. <laughs> no, I'm not price fixing. I'm just finding them myself. I have broken the game. Yeah. Dude, how amazing it would have been if I if I like threw in all of my chips into like awakened and lightened supports and done this. <laughs> oh um. Gone again. I could care less about these prism guardians. What are your thoughts about using greed's embrace over Darasos? It's an okay choice, but I don't want to sacrifice all that movement speed. And then simultaneously lose the cool interactions I have with Worm Sign and uh, Inspiration Support and Immortal Call. So I just have so much going for me with the easy acquisition, quick and dependable acquisition of Endurance Charges. It's, it's, it's really like a core part of my build. And it's one of the reasons why you guys don't see me die right and left in these maps. It's because of that, uh, I think. So by all means, you know, you want a little bit more quantity and rarity on gear? Try it out, but I, I don't want to move slower and die way more often. Now, I could figure out a way to get endurance. Like, I could go enduring composure on a megalomaniac or something, but it, that's not a dependable, reliable source of endurance charges. I'm not getting them nearly fast enough to make it sync up with the mortal call and uh, the mana reduction cost thing that I have going for me right now. These gloves are, are responsible for my ability to have dropped the Watcher's Eye. I don't even have a single source of minus mana cost, flat mana cost anymore. I don't have it on, enchanted on the rings. I don't have it on the Watcher's Eye anymore. 40% uh, increased flask effect of this flask means that uh, just this flask suffix alone and inspiration support uh, a, no a divergent inspiration support has enabled me to have a tornado shot that costs. Let's see it here. Oh, and uh, also a big part of it was dropping down uh, from a six link to a five link. All that combined has allowed me to have a, a mana cost of one, which is pretty crazy. So this is now the fifth level five corrupted awakened. Enhanced support you're about to see. You guys ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Not the outcome I was looking for. Well, the streak is broken. You deserved it. I deserve worse than that. <laughs> yeah, I'd say I deserved it. 